and welcome back to vlogmas this is day 11 so my plan for the day was to make the okay well let me tell you <laughs> so a couple of years ago for some reason i thought it was last year but i think it was in 2019 not 2020 um i watched this um video on Hulu and it was like White House Christmas or something like that and the whole thing it was like 40 minutes long like a show and it was just going around showing all the White House Christmas decorations and like blah 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 well then one of them I think it was I think her name's like Susie Morrison or something like that is like one of the pastry chefs and she showed this apple pie recipe and she said it was like the White House apple pie or whatever like the White House classic apple pie Okay, so I saved that and I made the pie two years ago and it was really good and now I wanted to make it again but I can't find the recipe anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. I even went and now they have White House Christmas 2020 on here and there's like no sign of the apple pie recipe and then anytime I look up like White House apple pie it just keeps showing up like Obama's favorite apple pie and it's not the same one I know because it uses Granny Smith apples and it also gives you the recipe for um, like how to make the crust or whatever this recipe called for pink lady apples and it said, which I was kind of surprised, it was like, just buy your favorite pie crust or whatever, or make your favorite pie crust. Um, it just kind of was talking about the filling. But what I always thought was interesting was that it said to use pink lady apples, um, and that's what I used when I made it last time, and it was really yummy, so I bought pink lady apples, and now I don't have a recipe. But I think I'm just, I just went on Pinterest, and I'm just gonna find one that I can use. Because, I mean, like I said, the apple pie recipe was pretty, like, just basic. And then I just bought, like, uh, pie crust instead of making it homemade. So, I think whatever recipe I find will be okay. So, this one that I'm using is the Frugal Girls, if you're interested. Um, and this says... I have to bake it at 400 for 15 minutes and then at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. So... Okay, I have the oven preheating. Peel and thinly slice your apples. Okay. So these are all my apple. I will say, how many apples does it need? She used six medium. Okay, so that's what I thought because I bought six pink ladies thinking that that was about how many I used when I actually made the White House recipe. But, so I'm gonna wash these. That's my washer going off, by the way. I'm gonna wash these apples and then peel and slice them. And I guess put them in a bowl because I think we mix a bunch of crap into them. Whoops. This is gonna take a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> All my apples are sliced, so now let's see what we do. Okay, so it says to put lemon juice on them. Two teaspoons. I got a fresh lemon off of our lemon tree. This is two. I'm just gonna assume that that's about right. <laughs> it says to coat that lemon juice like kind of evenly, so the lemon juice does is that help them from being brown because some of them have already kind of turned a little brown then over apples add sugar flour cinnamon nutmeg salt okay so all of that stuff so I need a cup of sugar 
Okay. Oh, I feel so cute baking. Now I need three tablespoons all-purpose flour. Is this a tablespoon? Yes. One. Two. Now I need one teaspoon ground cinnamon. Okay. And this is fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, which I'm just gonna use my teaspoon and I'm just gonna, you know, a fourth is like really not a lot, huh? <coughs> Puppy scared me. Okay, and now, oh, okay, it's so a little bit of salt. Well, and I think that's it. Okay, let's just put all that, okay. Now it says stir until it's all well blended. It smells so good. Okay, I think that's okay. I think that's good. I'm just gonna eat one. <laughs> really sweet. <clears throat> okay, um. Now it says to transfer this mixture into your pie pan with your pie crust. So, I'm gonna get my handy dandy pink long burger. If you know what that is, you're cool. Now I got these pie crusts. This Kroger brand. I really need to like clean up this mess here for now. I'll just, my camera turned off. Anyway, my pie crust. All you do is just unroll it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Isn't that the best? Okay, let me roll this out on a flat surface. Ooh. Fun. Oh, no, please don't. Oh, no. So far, this is not as good as the Pillsbury brand because it kind of broke in some places, but I'm going to try and mend it. I highly recommend trying to get the Pillsbury brand because this Kroger brand is kind of sucking. I don't know about taste, but it's like splitting apart on this end here. I think it may have been that it was like really cold in the refrigerator or something like that. So maybe if I kind of warm this up a little bit with my hands. Oh, wait, I got. Pour our pie filling in. Oh my gosh, we're so. Ooh. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. This is like a lot of apples for a pie, right? But they will shrink a little bit, I believe, once they get to bacon. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, so don't listen to me. Okay, I'm gonna try and warm it up a little bit with my hands. My hands are clean and also it's just gonna be me and Cody eating it, so. <sighs> it's doing it again. Why does it do that? It does, this, it does it like right at the tail end. Yeah, that like completely broke apart. Okay, I think I'm just gonna like roll it up into a ball again and then just like completely. That may have been a mistake. <sighs> I don't know. All right, seriously, don't ever, ever buy the Kroger brand of the pre-made pie crust because it is trash. <sighs> now I'm not going to be able to stretch it back out <laughs> nine inches to cover my pie. Right, so I tried to roll it out and piece it back together. <laughs> I think now what we're going to have to do is just try to stretch her out or something. At least maybe now it looks even more homemade. <laughs> no, it's like breaking. God. Uh, Kroger brand sucks. All right, I tried my best. I tried my best to stretch her out. So this is what she's looking like now. There's a few holes, but honestly, she probably was going to be that way anyway. So, okay. So I want to do, because I see people do like these little indents in the center of the pie, you know? So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Oh my gosh, am I a pastry chef or am I a pastry chef? Let's do a hole there, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so now it says to do an egg wash with an egg and a little bit of milk and we brush it all over our crust. 
What does this do, even? Is this what like browns it? Does this add like any flavor or anything like that? Okay, I feel like I covered it. I mean, I don't think I have to use this whole thing because I feel like that would be a lot of liquid sitting on top of my pie, but you know. Okay, and then it said to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top and then we put it in the oven at 400 for like 15 minutes. And then, sorry, I started concentrating on, on my sugar placement. Lovely. Okay. So it said 400 for 15 minutes, I believe. Yeah, for 15 minutes. Then after that, okay, it says add your pie crust shield to help the edges from burning. I don't have a pie crust shield. And then it says bake at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. So, all right, in the oven it goes. Now, while that bakes for those 15 minutes, I'm going to do a little cleaning up. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to take it out. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice did that. Okay, so it's time to take it out and then turn the oven back to 350. Shut up! Okay, and then put it in there for like 40 minutes, but it said to put some kind of pie guard. I don't have a pie guard. I think it'll be okay. Honestly, if the edges get burnt, we'll just chop those off, right? All right, so it goes back in at 350 for 40 minutes. Okay, so the timer is about to go out and I realized that I forgot to put the pie pan on a cookie sheet like it said because it bubbles up <laughs> so uh but i got lucky and it is bubbling a little bit but oh gosh i got hiccups but it didn't fall out <laughs> so i'm gonna get her very caref carefully A little montage for you. My parents are coming over and I have a feeling that they are going to sniff this pie out and want some but I know that they're probably not gonna want to be filmed so I guess we'll just skip ahead to me picking up Cody at the airport. <laughs> All right so we are back from the airport picked up Cody now he's here and he's going to taste test our apple pie that we made earlier. And it has been eaten a little bit from me and my parents. <laughs> so taste test. Are you sure you don't want me to slice it and put it in the microwave? <laughs> Heat it up. Just getting a real feel for the dish, you know, just. I thought maybe it's still warm. <coughs> I'm getting the feel for the dish, it not was, you. It was still. <laughs> I actually felt the dish. You were doing some kind of weird aura, Reiki clone or something. <laughs> <laughs> My sim when she's doing witchcraft. Your sim when she's baking a pie? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Says the house on fire. Your bag's to the camera. Okay, well. How are you guys? You're welcome. <laughs> they can't see you taste test if your face in that way. I'm trying to decide if the perfect... Bite? Bite. Do I want a little bit more crust closer to the edge? Or do I want a little bit more filling closer to the middle? I like filling better than crust. See, but. I am traditionally a crust man. So I think I'm going to go like right But are you here. suspicious of my crust or something? Is that what you're trying to say? No. Um, <laughs> no. All right. That's a huge bite. There's like also no crust, by the way. Like I wanted crust. What are you talking about? That whole chunk right there is crust. Yeah. And on the bottom Compared too. to the filling. Mm -hmm. The filling is what tastes good, but it's just me. You just get puppy a little bit. You're welcome, puppy. What do you think? Pretty good. <laughs> Want me to go, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> the flavors are melting on my tongue. <laughs> yeah, that's how I want you to react. Oh, is she doesn't need. <laughs> what do you think? It's good. It was very good. I am not being forced to say this. <laughs> you don't no, yeah, so. I really, I think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't like it? Right? No, it's good. It's good. <laughs> you don't like I'm it. kidding. I like it. <laughs> Sponsored by Apple Pie, the brand. They're all branded. 
I thought it would be nice. Show them the inside, like the filling part. Um. <laughs> Ooh. I thought it'd be good to have it hot and then put vanilla ice cream on it and drizzle like caramel on top. All right, well, I guess that's it for Vlogmas day 11. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, day well, 11. I don't know. Day 11. So Day I hope, 12. I hope you... Here for day 12. 11. Day 12. 11. Thanks for watching day 13. Come here. We've been killing it for 13 days of December. <laughs> 11 days of December. Here's Puppy in his elf outfit today. <laughs> But anyway, so that's it for Vlogmas Day 11. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so very much. I'm so proud of who you are as a person and what you do every day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.